loving you and love It's back to you Midwest again. We're making a showing you how to make a trout line. It's very easy. We just put one out, how you uh, check it and everything. And it's all you need. Some string, get this Walmart, seven bucks. You get a lot more, but that stuff is real thick. And you get the thinner kind that's uh, only that two thirteen, uh, which is you don't get as much and it's real thin. And it's, I think it's kind of better. I don't know why I got this. Don't get the color kind. Always get this color because, like, the green and the orange is braided and it sucks so bad, so never get it, okay? Then you need swivels, snap swivels. Show them down there. It's real easy. Uh, it's just a swivel and a snap. And you can get, like, 12 of them for, like, a buck, 50. So you get, like, five packs of those, how many you need. And the next thing you need to know, where are you going to put it out on the lake? Is it going to be a cove that's 50 yards long or 100 yards long? The, how far the wide is it going to be? If it's 50 yards, you put the swivel six feet across. Each each six feet, you put a swivel until how much you want to put that line out. Then, if it's 100 yards, I would recommend 10 or 12 because you don't want like 10 million swivels and it's way too close and you're not going to catch as much and there's no point of having them. First, you need a marker. This is six feet long, this rug, or five feet. It works for us. That's what we did on that one trout line. Now, have about 10 feet out so we can tie it, and have that down there. And just, the first one you start, that's down there, you just make a loop, like this. This is real easy to do, real way. Do this, and pinch that, put it through the loop, or you can do any other tie you want, but you want don't want to make the, the whole line uh, cut up. And then, put it through the bigger loop. Pull, uh, I made this too big. Pull like that, so it's stuck like that. And then, after you got that one done, it looks like that. You go to your other, other side of your marker, put it there, and go on the other side. Do that swivel. Put it through, and you do that. And it's real simple, and you keep on doing it until you're done. Then, then we're going to show you what next step you're going to do. Pretend this, the ping pong table, this is the bank, and that's the other bank, that leg, in the middle of it's water. And this is how you hook up trout line. First, you need a boat. Well, if you're really fortunate, you can have a boat. And you need like something. So, shut up, man. We need something you need tied to a tree. Uh, there's a bank, and there's railroad ties or whatever sitting up on there, like nailed in. And so we hooked up on that. And pretend... This is something, a tree or a dock that you already have. You just tie it up on here. And you need something to put this on. When you're done, put on PVC piping, a paper roll towel. Make sure if you do a paper roll towel, you won't get that wet because it'll get all tangled up. So first, you need to tie it off to your uh, thing. Just do, I'm just doing a crappy tie right now. Do something actually good. I'm just trying to... This is just the basic. So you have that tie. Let me do it one more time so it doesn't go undone. And it, obviously it would be a lot longer and the swivels would be a lot farther apart. So first you have ha you take your thing and roll it out. You go on the boat and... Man, that's fucking too long. Fuck. Okay, it's alright. Don't pause it. Okay. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Um, you roll this out, and you just go along, and if you have a PVC pipe, you put a smaller something so it just rolls out like that. And obviously there would be a swivel every six feet, and go across, go across, and go across. Uh, and tie this off like that over here. And you want it kind of tight. Uh, you want it kind of tight so, it's, so when you pull along it, it won't be like wobbly and you're... Boat, and you're supposed to do a side of your boat. In the video, we eat in the middle. And you can see the net got caught and everything. You're supposed to do a side of your boat. And whatever bait you want to use, take a snail hook to so go along it. After you
set it up, pop the swivel out, put it in, pop it back in place, the snap, and just go along, pull, 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 do the exact same thing. It works for canoe, boats, and when you do that, don't have that motor going. Because then that trot line is too fast, and that trot line start going and get caught in the trot line. And so all this, you can see how you do it. You just pull along it, see it, check this. We use snow hooks. You can make your own hooks with line like this. We just use it, check it, pop it off, pull, pull, pull with your boat, and pop it off. And that's all you have to do. If any questions, comment, and we'll make another one to maybe if it's better. Outdoors in the Midwest, back to you.